height. So for the last couple of weeks, since we have built a battery monitor, it was working great. It is monitoring, it is counting, it is transmitting to the internet without any problems. But now it's time to give it an upgrade. So what is the plan? What are we going to do? For the upgrade, we actually only need a switch. This time it's not a momentary, this time is a, we are switching on off something because we are going to add a mode. Uh, what kind of mode? Well, at the moment this is a normal monitor, but in many cases people are using this kind of devices to make capacity tests of their batteries. So we will add a new mode which will switch the battery monitor into a discharge test device. And it will not just show actual data, it will also actually intelligently be able to predict the estimated size of your battery pack, even if you don't run a full capacity test. We will also use the opportunity and install a bigger display because now it's already uh, a lot of uh, data we can show on the monitor. New display, this is a 20 by 4 uh, LCD display. And then we need only a set of wires to connect the switch to another GPIO pin of the microcontroller. And that's already it. The rest is just programming. So this will be a quick upgrade. We have to cut some new openings for the switch and for the bigger display and then we just upload new software and we can already start using this device also as a specialized discharge test device. Okay, I have taken everything apart. The old display is out. The control board. Here we have to solder the connection for the switch. I have uh, 12 switch positions on this board, so it's quite easy to do this. On the other side, we will just attach wire on the switch. Then we need to solder the I2C cable on the new display, the four, the four pin cable. Then we make a bigger cutout in the lid, and for the switch, I will drill a hole here and put it on the side. Here. Okay, and that's already all solder connection which have to be done. The switch, switch on the other side, and the display. So let's do the cutouts now. Now we need to check the size of the switch. And I think it is a yeah. It is a 12 millimeter hole. Okay, so this should fit. And it does. In the meantime, I have drilled a 12 millimeter hole, put the switch inside, put the PCB back inside, and now we are going to do the cutout for the new LCD screen. Ok, 
Okay, this time I did my cutouts very carefully and slowly and it fits very nice. So, that's it. Let's remove this plastic here. This one is a blue screen and blue screen. Switch, everything done. Let's bring it back to the battery and install it again. The battery monitor is installed again. It is now running still with the old software. That's why there's only two lines showing here. The only thing left is to upload the software. I have here now already, this is now called the version 2 software because it's a different size of display and other features. But to run this we have to first do something else. We have to clear the EEPROM because now the EEPROM will contain more data. Uh, what will be more on it is the battery capacity. Initially we have to flash an estimated battery capacity, what we think there is, and then later on after a uh, discharge test you can actually decide to store the outcome of that test or not and if you store it then it will be used for the calculations of the cycles so okay so let's upload the EEPROM clear program first okay so that is done now the EEPROM is clear and in the variables I have now set, this was my cycles now before I will upload this program and my estimated battery capacity which I was using is 8000 watt hours and this will now be flashed on the EEPROM like that. Okay, let's upload this version 2 software. That's it. Can remove the cable. And I will close the lid now. For that I have to put the camera away for a second. Okay, let's start it up. See, now we have a lot more space to show on the display. Here is now our normal mode and everything what we used uh, to show on two screens now is on one screen. All this set of charge, internet, current, watts, cycles, how many watt hours in that cycle and the temperatures. And on the second page we have our timer disconnects and now it's showing the battery capacity which is stored inside the uh, box and now we can switch over to the discharge mode and this looks like this now so we have the voltage we have then the amps so in this moment we are really discharging and now we have the two counters first amp hour counter and then watt hour counter. So this will now count every three minutes the numbers will uh, there be updated. And with the start of the discharge mode we also have taken the start SOC and the end SOC will of course change with the ongoing discharge then. And then as soon the difference between start and end state of charge is 50% or more then our monitor will start to estimate the capacity of the battery pack so until then 
just question marks. But of course, we did not start yet, so it will never do it in this case. Here we also have a second page, but when you press now this and there is an estimated capacity available, with pressing this, it would actually go and save the new battery capacity in the EEPROM. The software is updated and tonight, if the battery pack can be charged, uh, we will do then another discharge test with this uh, new feature here. Okay, it is evening, 95%, the batteries are already floating full. This is the maximum I can go with this equipment anyway. The last sun rays are hitting the panels, but we are going to end this now. And I will switch off the array. Uh, we went from charging now into discharging and now we are switching the monitor into the discharge mode. The meters are zeroed out. Start 95%, the end we will see tomorrow morning. Last time when we did the capacity test, I have tried to create a, a constant load scenario, but this of course we don't need to do now. We are just counting the load permanently. These uh, meters here, they are updating every three minutes. This is uh, similar to a column meter now, this mode. It will then just add up and count. Okay, I will let this running now. We will just uh, come back when everything is done. And uh, this next morning uh, we have uh, discharged 68%. After we discharge more than 50% of the battery, we are getting an estimated capacity. And it says at the moment 8200 watt hours very nice we are coming back in about one hour and that's it we are finished with our discharge test it went from 95 percent down to 20 percent so we have used 75 percent of our capacity 121 amp hours have been used 6320 watt hours and these numbers are taken into calculation for the estimated capacity of this pack for 8426. So if you remember our last test we had uh, 8000 at our discharge which we measured just by a multimeter and 8600 when we charged it back up and I said the truth will be somewhere in between and yeah this is it this is very close to the truth and very promising numbers. I can now take this, push my button and I have saved this now as my new battery capacity and this value will be taken uh, and uh, used for calculation of cycles. Okay, we can switch the monitor back into the normal mode. It will continue just to work as before. Yeah, this new feature is working amazing. I'm really happy with this. So as you saw, it is very easy to upgrade something what has a microcontroller inside. Maybe just takes another sensor, another switch and you already have much more functionality. With this upgrade, I can now from time to time check on my battery capacity and it's easy to determine for me if uh, the battery is degrading or not. But within these first weeks, by using this uh, battery monitor, I could already see that maybe at my last test, I was very, very uh, conservative with the numbers. I might have been a little underestimation of the load current, and the numbers actually look quite a little bit better than at that time when I tested the battery pack. So this is all good news and we have now a very good eye on this battery pack and we can easily see
how this pack is aging with time. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you uh, found it interesting. And uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.